Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, this video is about this little pulse motor I made. Um, it's a really simple pulse motor, but um, you know it's quite powerful for for what it is. Um, for those of you that haven't seen my channel before, uh, I make a lot of pulse motors and capacitor discharges and things, and I thought I would show everybody. It's, it's kind of a simple way to make something functional, because some of the other simple pulse motors just don't really do much so we'll start off right here so here's my little rotor this used a one inch piece of steel and drilled a hole in the center and um, I put a couple set screws in here one on each side to hold it uh, this is a eight millimeter shaft with bearings and then this is a 16 17 inch fan and um, I have a little MOSFET circuit right here. I um, have an output um, rectifier here. So we have red and black from the battery. It's 12 volts. And then yellow and white is the output. It's going to be going to the cap discharger. So when this gets to 16 volts, it discharges into the second battery. Um, this little motor has an optical timing. So for those of you that aren't familiar with it, um, this is my timing plate and then this is the little opto um, this is actually the color code for it too so how this works is when it's open it triggers the MOSFET which fires the coil and then as it's turned this way then it's closed so you could actually cut out how much timing you want if you want more or less which is quite convenient and then I have a little Adreno pulse width modulator. So with the modulator, we can make the motor run, you know, s slow or fast. But it also gives us a lot of output, which is quite neat. So this is just a little coil here. I think it's um, right around 80 turns of number 18. And um, the key to these motors is actually using really high powered magnets with air cores and um, you can make something really simple you know run fans or whatever like that um, this one is not self starting because it only has one one circuit um, but it is a good way to learn how things work and you could add more coils you could put one two three on there and then you could um, have it self starting which is quite nice so I'm going to turn it on here and you guys could see how it runs. So, turn up a little bit, and then we'll give it a little bump. So, here's the scope. So, with the pulse width modulator, even at this speed, we're making a lot of electricity because all those times that are turning on and off, um, the motor puts into here and it could dump back to the second battery but I'm going to turn it up about right there and now we got the full power of the capacitor discharger so about every second or so it's doing 5 amps at 16 volts back to the second battery so as you can see just the one little coil with a couple big magnets um, can turn this fan no problem this is turned way down but can see the scope shot. We could turn it up some more. Just have to make sure your coils mounted really well. That's why this tape's on here because it could give you a lot of torque from those big magnets. So as you can see here, here's the pulse width modulator and then the little hump is actually the magnet. So it's on about 40% of the time and then the pulse width modulator chops it up even more. So pretty neat little simple, you know, just a little piece of plastic with some bearings in it, a couple magnets and a decent sized coil. But like I said, the key is these magnets, you know, the bigger you can get them, the stronger, the better. Um, 
You just don't want to use any metal in that core. Having this as an air core, there's no resistance, so it could turn on and off and it could actually fire as fast as it wants to do, so it starts to kind of resonate at its own pulses. So as you can see, there's no steel, so it could, it's super, super smooth. There's no resistance at all. And as soon as you start applying a magnetic field, see it sucks it in. Boom, 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 boom. You can hear this little guy ticking. And we're using, you know, maybe around 100 milliamps at 12 volts. You can turn this nice big fan pretty effortlessly. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. Have any questions? Just leave it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. And um, thank you for watching.